The first thing to know is that the locals simply call it Annapolis. This tiny town is located in the Annapolis Valley, about a two-hour drive from Halifax. While there's only just over 500 people in the town proper, it's quite a bit more when you consider residents from the even smaller neighboring communities. You can find personal services like a dentist and a vet right in town. There's a post office, bank, two grocery stores, a specialty grocery market, and a farm market. There's also a wide variety of shops, restaurants, and art galleries in the downtown, many which cater to tourists. Because Annapolis has a high retiree population and a number of snowbirds, some of these shops and restaurants do close in the off season and the town is much quieter. As an Annapolis resident, where will you want to spend your time? Well, if you're into the outdoors, the old train tracks called rail trails have been converted into multi-use trails. The 110 kilometer Harvest Moon Trailway traverses the Annapolis Valley and starts at Annapolis and continues on to Grand Fray. This easy flat trail is great for off-road cycling, short walks, long distance trekking, or four-wheeling. The Annapolis Recreation Team offers a number of weekly sport and fitness opportunities for residents and visitors alike. The town gym is a hub of activities for all ages all year long. In the summer, the outdoor community pool and splash pad are popular, as are the two tennis courts. The Fort Anne National Historic Site overlooking the Annapolis River and nearby historic gardens aren't just for tourists, but beloved by locals as well. On the main drag, King's Theatre offers movie screenings, live theatre, and live music performances, including many Canadian legends. The library has great programming for all ages. Like many small communities in Nova Scotia, there are weekly bingo nights at the halls and community centres, cold or hot fundraising suppers, live music nights, and lots more. There are numerous churches in the area too, which are a wonderful way to find connection. There's a gardening club and many other local community organizations you can join. Do you like golfing? The Fort View Golf Club is nearby. Annapolis Royal is famous for its farmer's market, which is a huge draw in the summer and continues with a smaller winter location as well. You'll find both visitors and locals there Saturday mornings. All right, let's talk about some of the necessities. Housing, healthcare, schools, employment, and transit. Annapolis offers homes that encompass a wide range of styles and price points. There's condos, modern new builds, and heritage Victorians, and rundown farmhouses. Annapolis has it all. Unfortunately, more than 10% of Nova Scotians are without a doctor, and it's important to keep this in mind if you're considering moving to the rural areas. The Annapolis Community Health Centre is right in town, but their hours and availability may be limited. There are two schools in town, Champlain Elementary School, which serves kindergarten to grade 5, and Annapolis West Education Centre for middle and high school students. Will you need to work? You can typically find a job in town at the schools or one of the retail stores or restaurants or another small business. It can be difficult to get around rural communities without a car, but there is public transit in Annapolis and Kings County on major routes. The Kings Transit bus connects Annapolis all the way to Grand Prairie. 